strange. Um, to offset particle age, item offset fifteen. You can offset the animation like that. Um, to offset, you can have the particles start emitting at negative 10, let's say, all the way to negative 5. And they will animate, animation will start as soon as they spawn, which means it'll be a little off. So what we could do if we're going to start the animation start viewing the animation at frame zero we can start at negative uh, 25 let's say all the way to negative 5 and we can add a couple more kiwi bots at this point we'll see that their animations are all offset all right so that's fine I'm going to drop this back down to uh, two I guess that will make it one we'll set a um, speed not by surface. Uh, yeah, we'll do speed by surface. Add this surface. Where did this go? Uh, we'll change these back in a minute. Yeah, we don't want them to fly away. We want them to move parallel to the surface. Not surface normals, parallel. Five zero, let's say fifty. This is what's gonna take a while because uh, I need to toy around with everything. This is why these kind of tutorials are so hard. So they're all intersecting here. We don't want that at all. Geometry. Oh, that doesn't even matter. Geometry. Uh, and before we fix that, we'll put in a rotate operator. Rotate operator. There it is. I will make it a speed space follow which means whatever direction they're moving they will aim that way of course we have to rotate them not on that axis or that one 90 they're clearly moving too fast Two clearly moving 
too fast. Speed uh, thirty by two, maybe. That seems about right. Um, it's really hard to get this exact. Um, all you need to do is sell the illusion, basically. And 30 seems to do it. So, okay, we'll go back to bounding boxes and we will put this up to eight see now they're intersecting we don't want that so we'll drop in another operator called keep apart you might have seen this on my uh, my crowd control tutorial see as they get too close they will stay apart they'll rotate away from one another which is why we put in the um, speed space follow again we'll put in uh, 500 500 so they don't all spawn on top of one another See, these two right here seem to be very close which means we might have to modify or keep apart. Bounding boxes, keep apart. Force your cell limit, core radius, 30. Fall off, 15. We will make this 25. Maybe we'll make that 30 again. Force, Excel limit, 200. I think that would matter. So like I said, these kind of tutorials can be very boring because uh, <clears throat> it looks like we have it now. But a lot of it is me figuring it out in front of you. And... I don't know if that really bores you. I just really want you guys to be able to learn from what I'm trying to show you. That's the important thing. So, okay, I'm going to...